It's your boy John once again At nagbabalik na naman tayo para sa panibagong episode ng Jam and John And today, sobrang excited ako sa magiging guest natin Para mas ma-excite pa kayo Baba na natin siya Ayun ka Are you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Maya Nanor everybody! Hello! Hi guys! I'm ready Are you ready? Are you ready? I think so We're Let's ready do Let's do this! Yo, what's up guys? Magandang araw sa inyo lahat. Nagbabalik na naman ang pinaka-pogi wow. at pinaka-cute at pinaka-kulit nyo na host na si Nono. At ngayon, wala ano kasi nung kasama natin. Mario Nono! Give it up! Hey, what's up? Hello, good day. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Gumaganda ka nang gumaganda at pupuwag yun ang pupuwag eh. Okay, so ano, ano naman ang masasabi? Siya kasi ang host. <laughs> Ako yung sorry, host. Sorry, sorry. Thank you for guesting me here. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you so much for yes. accepting our request. And um, ready ka na ba na makulitan sa akin today? Um, wala akong choice, so go! No. Ka- <laughs> We all know you as the singer-songwriter. Okay. And um, you wrote a lot of songs. My first question is, how did you start? making music or dito sa music industry. Kasi yung family ko talaga music musically inclined na sila. Yung mom ko singer siya from the 70s like teen star, mga love team, love team ganun, Lala Honor ganun. And then my dad ano siya, pianist naman siya. So I guess right. nag-merge yung two and then yung grandma ko naman nagsa nagsa songwriting din siya pero more of like Christian songs ganun. So I guess it's somewhat in my blood. So I think ano nung high school naman, yun know, may mga emo days ko. So that's when towards that the end of high school, then ako nag-start mag-join ng mga Battle of the Bands, you know, like Ooh. these guys invited me. Miss Bind pa yung name namin Mi- noon. I think Bind. it's from a magic card yung nag-replay sila ng mga magic cards or something. It's ano, Miss- isang card Miss Bind yung name. Anyway, Kasi, ito na yun, medyo. Oh, yun na yun. <laughs> yeah, so I was like vocalist at pianist then, at the same time. Ayun, so sumasali-sali ako sa mga ganun. Pero nung college, syempre, ano, like, nag-fall out na rin kasi iba't iba kami colleges, so it's hard to maintain it. And then, after college, dun ako bali, sumali sa, ano, songwriting contest, yung Himig Handog, um, oh. nung 2013 to. So, it's been five years since then. Yun. And then, I joined with my song, If You Ever Change Your Mind. Nag, ano, siya, second runner-up siya. And then, since then, nag-sign ako sa label, and then yun ang two albums, and then yung mga movie soundtracks, ganun-ganun. So, so, basically, mga... Basically, like, five years na ako nag, ano, 21 ako nung nag-start sa music industry. How did you start, or how did you discover songwriting? Songwriting? I think, random na mga, like, assignments sa school before. Pero yun talagang nag-earn ako ng confidence ko sa self ko as a songwriter. Yung nag-earn kami ng graduation song contest before high school ended. So, senior year to. And then, yeah, we all just had to write songs. Tapos parang i-vote ng each class kung anong gusto nilang song. Tapos napili yun sa akin. So, nung graduation day. Laging sa school talaga eh. I mean, formative years or something. So, yun. Nung graduation, yun yung kinanta namin na song. Moving on naman yung title na sinulat ko. Tapos yung mga influence ko pa nun mga Jason Mraz, Nora Jones, ganun, kasi ganun, kasi ganun, kasi ganun. Kasi nga dati, tinatay ko bumirit mga Celine Dion, Britney Spears, <laughs> pop stars, nga ganun. Kaya lang hindi talaga, <laughs> hindi nag-work out. Akala may ko may nga na, like, hindi ako pwede maging singer because I couldn't sing Celine Dion, Christina Aguilera, stuff like that. Yun yung misconception yeah, kasi dati. Yeah, so buti na lang nauso yung mga mas chill singing or like different styles. Ba yun yung, yun yung uh-huh. laging mindset ng mga tao mm. na pag singer ka sa Pilipinas, dapat kailangan mo. Yeah, kasi yung mga, yung mga contests naman kasi puro yun yung like bibirit ka lang magka-clap na sila. Oo, oh, parang ikaw yung pinakamagaling. Pag hindi ka mo yung bibirit, hindi ka magaling. Yeah. Parang gano'n. Speaking of writing, what is your um, process when it comes to songwriting? Songwriting? I think everyone would say in uh, different ways yan lumalabas, diba? Like sometimes mm-hmm. melody, sometimes lyrics, and then kung saan-saan mo rin maiisip. Like, dati ako sa, sa car habang nagdi-drive, or yun nga, yung sa shower, yung sa banyo. Ah, sa banyo. <laughs> banyo talaga ako eh. Hindi sa banyo. Okay, walang, walang, walang kumakontra <laughs> sa banyo. Sa banyo eh. 
Maganda kasi yung reverb eh. Kung <laughs> nagsusulat ka, tapos kakantahin mo yung verse. Mm-hmm. Akala mo nakaka-record na kami. Yeah, true. And then sometimes, like ano, kapag tulog ng lahat, like early morning, then ako magsusulat. Para mm-hmm. kasi ang, ang ganda ng feeling na, ang quiet ng lahat. Mm-hmm. Tapos, ano din, minsan pag may napanood ka ng movie, or may, napan- mm-hmm. may, nalama, may nasagap ka yeah. na kwento. Kasi sometimes, parang, maubusan ka rin ng inspiration from your own experiences. Mm-hmm. Tapos minsan nanonood ka na ng movie, hindi ka naman nag-iisip ng song. Tapos so, sobrang na-inspire ka dun sa napad mong scene, or... Oh, exactly. Or like, may masabi silang magandang line, or whatever. Okay. Pwede ka bang mag-sample ng isang song mo? Okay, sure. Ano? Yung sa Himigandog. <laughs> Himigandog. Okay. But if you ever change your mind, Don't you dare come back to me crying That I want you back again Cause though what we had was more than fine I needed someone who would love me More than he loved himself Yung ano, yung funny, funny, yung parang voice crack yung ano, yung yodel. Yodel! Hindi <laughs> ko nagbisa, yung parang gusto ko na I think kayo na yun, kay Jason Marasco na ko, or kayo Nora Jones, sa nakakinig sa kanila. Hindi ko nga yun, bagas. Bagay, just bagay. Hindi bagay sa akin. What year was it released? Uh, 2013. 2013, yeah. that was... So that's really one, the song that I started with sa industry was that song. Sino ba ang mga nasulatan mo na artist or mga uh, bands sa industry? Marami na rin. Um, I think sa previous label ko sila, nag-start ako with Catherine Bernardo, Alex Gonzaga, um, Eric Santos, Jonalyn Viray, uh, sila Kyla, sila Inigo Pascual din. And then, mga co-write naman yung iba with Sir Jonathan Manalo. And Asin then, Jonathan. ano, um, ngayon recently sa ano, Viva Records, si Sian Lim. And then, dati din pala si Lila Alcacid. And then, sino pa nga ba? Ngayon, mayroon akong mga upcoming songs na lalabas na ano naman sila, Jaya, si Sharon, and si Juris. Ako naman, si John, tsaka si Roa. Ay, kilala ko si yun. Ay, kilala si ko rin yun. Dami, medyo madami-dami na rin sila eh. Galing. Ang <laughs> dami, no? Oo. Daming grow, dami ng te. Yung y- y- hindi <laughs> nang ako, ako lang. Like. Mga idol ko yun ni eh, sa lalaki. Ako din naman. Parang Justin Bieber na ng Philippines. Ano yung challenges mo when it comes to um, songwriting? I guess kung ano yung ano yung babagi sa, sa kanila na song kasi baka mamaya an okay nga siya kung ako yung magsi-sing tapos sa kanila naman iba naman pala yung style nila yung genre nila so you really have to like immerse yourself mm. sa ano nila yung sound nila so ginagawa ko like um, for example sulat ako si Sian so I'm going to listen to all of his tracks see kung ano ba yung voice niya ano ba yung mm. usual niya ginagawa or something and then lalagyan ko din ng own spin ko kasi syempre like if they ask you to write a song they want your sound tapos uh, 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 uh. Instead, of, eh. instead of something na that they can already get from other writers. So, kailangan mo ma-find yung balance with your own writing plus mm. yung bagay sa kanila. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sa ano naman, sa self mo naman, ano naman yung sa challenges ko? as a songwriter? Pa, sa Ngayon yung, yung, yung recent challenge ko kasi ano, sunay talaga ako English uh. ever since. So, yung lumipit ako sa Viva Records, tsaka lang ako na-challenge kay Boss Vic kasi sabi niya, eventually, kailangan mo din magsulat ng Tagalog. So, ginawa ako, first song pa lang, tag- tinagalog ko na. Yung sa pambansang third wheel na movie to nila, Yasi and Sam Milby, um, um, pinusulat niya ako na, ano, tapos ginawa lang theme song, ikaw pa rin ang pipiliin ko, yung title. So, that's my like, first Tagalog track na sinulat. And then, after na nasunda na nga nung Akala, viral na yung song yung sa Akala mm. sa Spotify, nagto-top 15 na siya. And then, ano, na, nakita ko dun sa list ko ng songs na mga sulat ko na rin dati. Tapos yung Akala pala yung very first ko nakasama sa Spotify 50 and viral 50. Gano. So I was like, so, yung challenge na yun na na-overcome ko yung pagsulat ng Tagalog, meron palang mas maganda pang bunga. So, I'm very grateful that I tackled that challenge. And na, yung Viva tinulungan ako na i-open up yung part ng self ko na pwede, na kaya pala magsulat ng gano'ng mm. song. Yan na try ko pa i-Google Translate, parang ano ba sabihin ito. <laughs> Tapos ang ganda niya sa English, pagdating sa Tagalog, biglang ay hindi pala masyado maganda yung pagkaka... Yung ang, so, ang hira. Ang hira pa ng ibang... Yeah, way of saying it uh, or something. Pero ang ganda din pala ng Filipino songs kasi iba yung kirot niya talaga. Yun yeah. lang. So I can't even, like right now, I'm trying to go back to English, which was my, yung comfortable sa akin dati. Uh, Tapos ngayon parang nag, nahihirapin ako mag-switch back uh, na parang parang mas nafe-feel ko yung sakit pag tinatagalog ko. So parang yeah, ang weird. Other than songwriting, other than making music, ano ang ibang pinagkakaabalaan ng isang Marion Tonor? Me? I don't know. Nothing. Netflix. <laughs> Netflix. 
and chilling by myself. I got Netflix, and then the like Netflix and then yung music thing mm. and then hanging out with my dog and my cockatoo. Wait, what? My cockatoo. What's, what's it's a, a it's a white parrot. Ay, nagsasalita. Nagsasalita siya. Name niya Gaga. Yung mom ko yung nagpangalan. Oh, oh, oh. Lady Gaga, pero Gaga lang, <laughs> for short. Parang ang daming, ang daming nagkakaparot sa bahay. No? Parang gusto ko rin naman. Parang pagpasok mo ng bahay. Masaya siya. Mamaka! <laughs> what can we expect from Mariano Me? Um, this year and next year? And hopefully. <laughs> hopefully more songs and more music videos and um, maybe releasing an EP. And a uh, collab with John Roa? I'll think about it. Yeah, yeah, like with the right fee. I'll yeah. ask them also. Yeah. I'll get my people to talk to your people. I'll, I'll, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> my people. In the parang cool nan kung natuli yun. I really hope na matuli siya. Akal. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dahil dyan, Akala. meron ako naisip. Uh, meron kami gagawin na challenge na 10 minute songwriting challenge. Okay, since songwriters tayo pareho, ano, parang and ma yung mga makirot mga hugot songs plus for both writers. So baka pwedeng like kung ari hindi tayo maka-move on or something. So para maka-move on tayo sa bad experience or sa heartbreak na yun, idadaan na lang natin sa song or isusulat na lang natin yung mga heartbreak natin. Pwede. Idadaan na lang sa school. Eh. Ano? I forgot how the first go. <laughs> Ba? Paano ba mabubura? Paano ka ba mabubura? Paano ka? Paano, paano ka ba? Okay. Mabubura, mabubura. Or saan mo siya nakikita pa rin sa pagising sa umaga? Sa tabi mo. Parang gano'n. Mm -mm. Pero hindi na, wala na pala siya doon. Hindi ko magawa. Parang ano eh, parang kasi sa akin okay, nakatatak. Sa, na akin. sa akin naka... Pa rin ang alaala mo. Pilit ko na. Ipilit ko man, hindi ko magawa, kumain ng konti lang. Chorus na lang. Sa'yo yung asakin yung first line, tapos sa'yo. Or pwede naman sa'yo. Ito. back again and um kung naalala niyo nung nakarang episode natin nag guitar tutorial tayo tutorial tutorial, tutorial. tutorial. yes nag guitar tutorial tayo <laughs> kaya naman meron kaming device dito na tinatawag namin na uh, pa looper ulit-ulitan aka the looper ulit-ulitan tama yun uh, sige <laughs> the looper sabi and, niya uh, the looper is a big world can you explain to them what so basically 
Oh, well, yung pinaka basic na function niya would be to loop or record over what you like a track. So pwede siyang multiple na tracks recorded over. So Hello. 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 Aside from that, I know meron siyang ibang mga features like this one I'm using over here is female to male. So if you're a female like me, who wants to sound like a male, like John Roa, this is what you use. Hello. And then you can use other features like, like double, double down, down if, if you, you want to sound, sound like, like a little monsterish or whatever. Ganun. Um, Meron ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, and then auto tune radio. Auto tune radio. Ikaw magaling sa ganyan, ikaw mo yeah! Man then rock, man then rock, Bravo, bravo, bravo. Gorgeous hall, if you want to feel like you're in a gorgeous hall. Yes. And then pop trio. I use this for like, yung mga I love you always forever. Feels like I'm standing in a timeless dream of a light man. With pale amber rose on her. We want to get on a moment to perform. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> or megaphone. And that's all for today, guys. There are a lot of features, but that's some of my favorites. Sample! Nah. Sorry, here we go. Oh, I'm not so hyper. Okay. Sample. Boom. And looper and um, Sinampal and Mario on order yep. how to do the looper. If you want to mm-hmm. try it out, just look it up. YouTube, Google, hat. Sobrang sarap niya aralin. And um, mm-hmm. I want to learn more about this. Go! This. Yeah, it's super fun. Yeah, it's super fun. It, you can make fun with your voice. Once again, guys, <laughs> this is the looper and this is Mario on order. Bye! Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> 
ano ba ang mga gusto mo pa na ma-achieve or ma-discover? Well, I wanna keep writing for myself and for other artists din. Yung mga, ano, mga big, big, big artists mm. talaga. Masulat ng ganun. And then, um, sana syempre magka-shows na mga huge, mga Kia Theater, Araneta, mm. mga ganun, and touring it around the world sa kahit sa mga Filipino communities in other countries or something. And then, of course, I also wanna delve into movies if I can actually do the acting part of it. You're doing acting workshop right now. Yeah, I'm doing acting workshop right now. So, we'll see if I have a future in acting too. Like, like other other artists then who are are dreaming of of having their own songs. Message mo sa kanila. Well, <laughs> if you're going to choose this career for yourself, you have to be really dedicated and passionate and patient. Kasi inconsistent. Inconsistent. Lahat na ng mga and about adjectives or <laughs> mga ganun. Be very resilient and go lang ng go and you have to it para mag-commit ka talaga because it, it comes with a lot of heartache even if yung merong mga achievements na ganyan it it can be fleeting it's not all like parang glamorous and all of that it really comes with a lot of hard work so if you're going to go for it ayun kailangan maging ready ka sa mga sacrifices na ganoon but yung payoff naman sobrang ganda be courageous okay na <laughs> all right guys we are down to the last part of this episode Again, maraming maraming salamat for sticking with us. And of course, maraming maraming salamat, Mario Honor, Thank for you joining so much. me. Thank you for having me. Our kajammers, kajammers. <laughs> and um, because um, this episode is so fun and it's so special, mm -hmm. and um, they both know us as the Hugoters. Hugoters. The Hugoters. <laughs> Yun na ba band name natin? Ba the Hugoters. The Hugoters. Duo na tayo. Uh, um, and we both have songs that are Hugot. <laughs> of course, her song... Akala. Akala. And my song Ox Lang. Yeah. Basically, my song Ox Lang is about letting someone go because parang hindi na hindi na Ox. Hindi na Ox eh. Pero Ox lang sa'yo. Ang Akala. Ano ba yung... Akala. Akala mo siya yun ang binigay pero hindi pala. But then, in the end, ano, parang if they need to go, then Ganun. Ox lang din ako. Kung Akala mo siya na yung binigay yeah. pero hindi pala. Mm -hmm. Pero ganun talaga eh. So, okay. kailangan mo maging okay. Ah, okay. yeah, ganun. <laughs> eh, pinapatawa lang namin kayo kasi yung song na to medyo dalawang ano eh. Nag-combine eh. Yep. <laughs> dalawang mahapdi eh. <laughs> the song is a mashup of Akala and um, Ox lang. Hope you guys yes. like this. Di ko napansin na lumalayo ka na sa akin Wala akong kamalim-alay Kamong binanggit na kailangan mo muna umalis Dahil gulong gulo sa buhay Mm -hmm. 
di kana kini kili di kana na tutua pung mai pasalubong ako na isa Today once again, Mario Nonor, everybody. Palapakan naman natin si Mario Nonor, guys. Ate. Thanks, guys. Thank you so Where can much. We find you? Um, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Mario Nonor, and we're on our Facebook page, facebook.com/slash Mario Nonor official, and you, you can check out my website too, MarioNonor.com. Once again, this is John Rowan. This is Mario Nonor, and this is Jam with John. <laughs> Okay. Name. Name naman ngayon. Alright.